Hi, welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss about iterations in NumPy. So for that, we should be well aware of the for loop concept in Python because we are using the same for loop here to iterate the elements from NumPy array. So for that, we are importing a NumPy library using the command import NumPy as NP and I created a array using range function. So it is a one dimensional array. So zero to up to four. So the iteration in one dimensional array is very similar to the list iteration or list uh, for using a for loop with a list in Python. So the command is for i in x, x is nothing but our uh, numpy array, print i. So I'm just printing out, printing the elements, each and every element. I'm uh, instead of uh, doing some computation to make the code simple and to easy to understand. So we can see each and every element got iterated and printed individually. First it is 0, 1, then 2, up to 4. That is a one dimensional iteration in NumPy. Now next we will see two dimensional iteration. So for the two dimensional iteration, I created again a two dimensional array with a shape 4 by 4 by 3 and it has elements 0 to 11. So the iteration is if you are using the same iteration command, for example, I'm using again for loop for i in x x is nothing but our new array here a two dimensional array x in and print if i'm printing i let's have a look what it will come so it actually iterates not the individual elements in, like in the one dimensional array instead of in two dimensional array what it is actually iterating it is iterating to each and every row so the first time it will uh, print the first row, the zeroth row, then the first row, then the second row and the third row. That is what is happening, not the individual element. That is the main difference with when we are iterating the two-dimensional array. Suppose I have created a, another two-dimensional array. For example, instead of this, I created a two-dimensional array in the other way, three by four. So it's a different two-dimensional array. So again, I'm iterating this for i in x print i <coughs> sorry so again it will be iterating through the rows only now next if i want to iterate through each and every element from this so for that we can use a nested for loop so nested for loop means first we will iterate through the uh, rows rows means first i iterated through the all the rows so i got the rows so after selecting the first row, again, we will use a for loop inside this or a nested for loop to iterate individual elements. So we can see how it is. So for i in x, instead of printing immediately, I am putting another nested for loop for j in i. That means this for loop, the first for loop for i in x will index or will iterate through the rows we select for all the rows then immediately after selecting the first row it will again start another loop with that row that means then inside this row it will iterate so this row will be a, treated as a one dimensional array so again so we can say print j so now what will happen it will each and every element got printed individually so that is all about the two dimensional iteration. And similarly, we can see next is three dimensional iteration. So for that, I have created a three dimensional matrix that is with uh, two by two by two. That means two layers, two rows and two columns. So when I'm using iteration function, the simple iteration function for i in x and print i, let's have a look what the output will come. It actually, printed or iterated through through the layers so what is the difference between the other two the one dimensional array when we are iterating it will iterate through each and every element in two dimensional it will iterate through the rows but in three dimensional when we are iterating it will iterate every layers actually so the first layer it will come and the second layer so if i want uh, uh instead of uh, apart from the layers i want the rows then we can again use a nested for loop. That means for i in i in x print, sorry, i in x, that means we got this first layer, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Then I added a nested layer for j in 
i so now i got these two dimension two rows then if i am printing this print print j so what will happen i got all the columns individually i treated up to the columns now if i want to uh, in uh, i want to like uh, uh, index or iterate through the individual elements then what we have to do so first we iterated through the layers so we got the layers first layer and the second layer then inside the layer we are iterated through the columns so we got sorry the rows so we got all the rows individually now if you are adding one more nested loop here we will get iterated through all the elements that means for i in x for j in i sorry j in i that means we iterated to the rows then again for for k in j so print print k so now what we'll get we will get each and every element got iterated individually so i am uh, expecting that you are well aware of the function nested for loop and for loop otherwise uh, please uh, watch the videos related to for loops and then come back and try the iterations numpy array otherwise it will be more confusing so that is all about the three dimensional numpy array and there is another comment called enditor so n determines suppose it is a three dimensional array because because of three dimensional array we can use three nested loops and we can uh, uh, get the uh, elements individually or iterate the elements individually suppose we have n number of uh, like uh, dimension instead of three it can be five ten or any number of dimension so in that case if we want uh, into like output like this individual elements we cannot write uh, n number of nested for loop it will be more uh, too much confusing and the code become more complex and more lengthy to avoid that we can use a nditor function so what exactly nditor function is function is doing suppose i am just taking x so x is nothing but a three dimensional array suppose i want to flatten x what we will do we used a three nested for loop and got a flatten flatten means individual elements we selected instead of that we can directly use the enditor function that means for x in np dot enditor then open the parenthesis and we give the x the uh sorry not x is i in enditor x and then print i here so this is the uh, arrays we have then if you are printing in that single line of code instead of the nested for loop here we used we can have every individual elements can be selected separately suppose even though it is a two dimensional array here for the two dimensional array also we used a nested for loop Bef instead of that we can use a enditor for that so we can try that enditor here in the two dimensional array so i'm copying here this two dim the x is now i'm just writing this so this is a two dimensional array now so i'm just printing x x equal to three dimensional array now i am using enditor function one sorry sorry there is a four a four enditor function then every element got individually iterated but we do instead of having a nested for loop so we can use the enditor function to iterate every individual elements even though it is any number of dimension two dimension or three dimension or more than we don't need to use a nested for loop now the last comment we are discussing is about the en uh, enumerate enumerate is nothing but we can sometimes we may need the indexing or indexing of every element so in that case uh, we can use uh, it is similar to the python enumerate function uh, i am i believe i am hope you uh, know the python enumerate function if you are not aware please have a look on enumerate function in python and we can and then it will be more easy to understand here so what it actually gives if you are using there are two variables index and i instead of a single variable i we get two variable index and i in np dot enumerate x that means what will happen it will index through each and every element also it will give the in, in index this variable it will store the index position position of the where uh, that element so that means the zero is in zero zero position in our uh, we'll just first see the x the x is nothing but a two dimensional array yeah 
and zero uh, two in zero zero position and one is in zero one position and two is in zero two position so we can get the position as well that is enumerate so this is all about the basics of uh, iterations in numpy but there are